This is now a routine part of getting Lily and Ava Muir ready for school. See what it is? 37. Perfect. Their mum has to check their temperature. If it's over 38 degrees, the rules say they must stay at home. They both go to Akeley Wood, a private school near Milton Keynes, that's introduced more stringent measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. Akeley decided to step up its response after hearing from other schools in the group dealing with far worse outbreaks in Asia. In Singapore we have thermal checking of everyone that comes into the school community. Now we're not recommending that we do that here in the UK, but we have asked parents to uh, take their temperature and their child's temperature in the morning and just be aware of that as it's an early indicator of something isn't quite right. Parents collecting their children from a North London school have been reassured that good hygiene is enough. I've got cystic fibrosis, so that's a lung condition. So obviously I'm in the uh, percentage that it will badly affect. I haven't actually heard anything physically from the school themselves, only from my daughter herself when she comes out and she's singing these new songs to wash their hands with. And so I know they are cracking down on the hand part. They're making a huge effort to keep us informed on what's happening in terms of our latest updates. And... Um, they're very hygienic, telling us to make sure we clean our hands and the children do the same. Although this school in Reading was forced to close after a positive test, the aim is to reopen as quickly as possible. Young people and healthy adults are the least likely to get this virus and therefore I think there will be an expectation for schools to stay open as long as they can, not just because it's good for the young people, but also so that parents of those young people don't have to take time off to look after them and cover your hands in soap. Make sure your hands are nice and covered. The Department of Education maintains that while public health is the priority at this stage, no child should be missing out on education. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.